Yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome to this new video. Today's concept is going to be very, very straightforward. It's just a before and after. So we're gonna look at how to go from this Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... to this. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... And with the beat. I'm gonna show you all the plugins that I use to create these vocals and then I'm also gonna show you an alternative with Logic Pro's stock plugin. So if you don't have the plugin that I use, then you can use free plugins from Logic Pro. And as we will see, it sounds pretty much the same at the end of the day. Let's not wait any longer, let's get straight into the tutorial. Let's see what effects I added. First one is an auto-tune. I used the one from Waves, which is called Waves Tune. It's cheaper than Antares auto-tune, that's why I bought it. And I also used this one just to correct the other notes at the end. Uh, uh, if you don't want to buy Waves Tune, Auto Tune, or Melodyne, you can use the free version of Logic Pro. Here I need to put the right key. We are in the key of A minor. And now I can play with the response time. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. That's a free alternative, as we can hear it doesn't sound as precise as Waves Tune. That's for the auto tune. I also have some overdrive. I used Devil Lock from Santos. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't boost it too much, just a tiny bit of overdrive. And for the free alternative, you can use Logic Pro's overdrive, of course. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Something like that will do. Here I have a compressor. Ooh, yeah, yeah. As we can hear, I put some extreme setting. I want a lot of compression. Since this is just an ambience or a background vocal, same thing, you can use Logic Pro's compressor. It will do exactly the same job. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Now we can move on to the EQ. Here I have two EQs and I mainly boosted the highs. Actually, I copied this preset from my main lead vocals. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Just a bit more clarity, a bit more definition. If you want to use Logic Pro's EQ, try this one. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... And now I have an EQ which gives us this telephone vocals. Here you want to keep only the mids, you get rid of the lows and the highs. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a quick note, technically we didn't have to boost the highs before because we're cutting the highs here, but I still did it because we can hear a tiny difference. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... And that's simply because we can still hear them in this frequency range. You can do the exact same effect with Logic Pro's EQ, of course. Here you even have some presets. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Just before moving to the reverb, I have Echo Boy here that I used as a stereoizer to have a wider image. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... A good Logic Pro stock plugin to do that is Stereo Spread. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can make wider if you wanted to. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or less if you prefer. And then on top of that, I added some reverb. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... A very nice atmospheric reverb. I really like this one from Valhalla. And I also have a second reverb. Uh... This one doesn't do as much as the other one. This is a very short plate reverb and the aim of it is to push the vocal backwards so there's more room for the lead vocal. Uh... Let's just compare that with the Logic Pro's version. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it sounds a bit too harsh, maybe I can do better with the EQ. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
that's it for this before and after video. I hope you've learned something. Here I wanted to create a background vocal, an ambient vocal, so I used a lot of reverb and I also used the EQ in a creative way. This way, the vocal is not too upfront in the mix and there's still plenty of room for the lead vocals. Let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. I'll see you very soon for a new video. Bye bye.